Hello everyone, I'm Joseph Lenton, I'm a tech lead at the test and today I'm going to be showing you how you can use Rust from Vue with WebAssembly. So let's get started. What is WebAssembly? WebAssembly is a new binary format available in the browser and it's what people call a compilation target in that you would write code in say Rust uh, or C or C++, you would compile that to WebAssembly and then you can load that WebAssembly using JavaScript and execute that WebAssembly. And this allows you to have high performance code and less memory use than if you'd have written it in, say, JavaScript. WebAssembly is available in all modern browsers. So, how do we use it? I'm now going to a, into an example in a moment. And for this example, I've used the Vue.js CLI to generate a template, but I've used the next version. I'll explain why in a moment. For the Rust side, I've installed a tool called Wasm Pack, and the reason why is because obviously we don't want to be generating normal Rust binaries, we want to be tied to WebAssembly, and there's a few other extras that we would need to set up. Wasm Pack does all of that for you. So let's hop into the code. Here I have a template that I've already generated. The reason why I use the next version is because it installs with Webpack 5. Before we get into any Rust code, I need to be able to consume WebAssembly within the project, and Webpack 5 can do that. So I'm going to be turning on the ability to do that. Uh, in the view config, I'm going to be adding a module exports, which will configure Webpack, where under the experiments, you can find async WebAssembly, and I'm going to be setting that to true. And so now I'll be able to consume WebAssembly within this project. Now, let's talk about the Rust code. Well, I don't have any Rust code here, so I'm going to start a new Rust project with Rasm Pack, new, I'm just going to put my Rust example, and uh, that will generate a brand new Rust project. Because I've used Rasm Pack, it adds in a few extras. So, for example, it's added in uh, some web the Rasm bind gen will be able to uh, talk to WebAssembly, uh, as well as a few other useful extras already set up. If I go into the source code that's provided, the default source code, it's provided these two functions out of the box. This is an external function, and so it means external to Rust, this alert. Uh, this is referring to the, the browser alert that's available, and so that's that external function. And so it's calling the browser alert already uh, in this default code from Rust. Here is a greet function that it's provided. Let's add on a custom message to this. And instead of calling with this, let's pass the custom message to the browser alert from Rust. So I'm happy with that. Let's build it. So I'm going to go into my Rust example and then I'm going to do a Rasm pack build. And this will build it targeting what's called the WebAssembly toolchain, so it outputs WebAssembly code, and it also outputs a few other things which are quite useful. We have this uh, package folder that's just shown up, and this package folder is the output that that generates. And this includes uh, what is a node package. So it has a package JSON, just as you would normally expect. It has, of course, the WebAssembly code, we'll need that. It has uh, some JavaScript here. So I said before, you would load the WebAssembly and then call it from JavaScript, or well, it's provided that code for me so that I don't need to do that. And it's even provided TypeScript declarations so that I can call this from TypeScript and get all of the correct parameters and such. So let's add this project to my view templates. I'm going to come down to the view uh, package JSON down here. Here it is, the lightning talk. And I'm in the dependencies. I'm going to add on that Rust project, my Rust example. And it's on the file system. And it's my Rust example. And I need to point to the package, the node package that Rasm Pack built. Let's install that. Let's do a yarn install. And then let's do a yarn serve. And now we have 
the templates running. Let's go to a browser. Let's go here, and here is the template. So I have a page that I've already started on called Click Me. It has a button. The button doesn't do anything. Let's call that Rust code from here. So I'm going to go into Click Me. Here is that button. It calls on the Click Me. Here is the on Click Me function. So just like I would import some in any other JavaScript uh, dependency, I can now import the greet function from my Rust example. And now let's call greet. Hello from view via Rust. Let's put that. It's built. Let's go back here. Let's click me and hello from view via Rust. And so that button, this has called into the wrapper JavaScript in this package folder, which is then called into the WebAssembly. And uh, how cool is that? Which then call back into the alert. So that's awesome. Uh, of course, being a node package, we just deploy that to NPM. And so uh, why don't we do that now? So there is Wasm pack publish. So I'm going to do that, Wasm pack publish. And now it's on NPM. And so now instead of using uh, on the file system, I can just put in the file number of that and then install via Yarn. And so that way I can share it with other people as long as they can consume WebAssembly. Thank you very much. I hope you found this very, uh, very useful.